hi people welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to talk about MR artifact there are so many different kinds of artifacts when you're working with MR and uh, there are solution to them how to solve them eliminate or reduce them but this artifact I want to show you today is very unique and uh, it really gives you a lot of headache if you don't know the source of it I will explain to you where you can find the source of it and then just eliminate it once and for all so uh, hang on I'll show you before we proceed with the ammo artifacts of mine I really want to highlight one book uh, which is really great it covers a lot of ammo artifacts it's uh, this one and uh, it's written by Alan and uh, Luca so uh, if you're looking for one book which covers ammo artifacts in general I really recommend you to get this one and there's also uh, an online content which is rapidly on update which is really great however uh, I will put the link in the description down below where you can get this book and uh, this one goes straight into my ammo books of collections so enough talking from my side let me show you the artifact that is the artifact so let me zoom in there a little bit it's in the unarm exactly where the air of interest is so uh, what first things came in your mind is that you is there anything in the clove is there any surgery there before you ask the patient they say no no surgery and the clove is clean there's nothing there and it's not kind of a hardware related or a secrets related artifact it's so specific it seems to me like some kind of a metal there so what you do then is you go and look inside the book no answer you check the internet is no answer there and then you just have to dig deep in your brain and do some thinking maybe think outside the box when a situation like this occurs, we know we don't have time on our side we have a lot of patients just waiting for us and then we will be late and we just have to think fast right and then it suddenly occurred to me that a few years ago when I was still a student I was working in this private institution a friend of mine had the same problem and uh, I will show you just wait it's a little bit heavy it's a freaking sandbag so I just put it right there these sandbags they, they come along with the scanners when you buy new scanners and they, you get a lot of them in different sizes big and small so we use them for fixation in this this exam we did the uh, sandbags for a fixation with underarm and what I did there I just went inside the scanner removed the sandbag and then the artifact was gone so the source of this artifact was inside the sandbag so what do you think is inside the sandbag it should be okay to scan right I'll show you what's inside so this happened at the end of my working shift and I had to uh, go home so I told my colleagues just leave it there and uh, I will take an x-ray tomorrow to check what's inside of it and uh, luckily we have many Amar nerds at work Amar nerds as a positive word so I should took uh, an x-ray of uh, the sandbag you can see the image right there it seems to me like some metal fragments inside of it and uh, do you think she stopped there by after the x-ray no she didn't so after the x-ray she actually did an MR scan of it and as you can see there are two sequences here the one which shows almost no artifact is a turbo spin echo and uh, the other one which shows the artifacts clearly is a gradient echo do you think she stopped after this yeah she did she went home almost really late at night so she stopped so the next day when I came to work I was just looking forward to check the images did it I stop after that no I did a CT so uh, I don't know nothing about CT but um, uh, one of my colleagues he uh, did a CT scan for me I have the images right here so this is the CT images in transversal plane you can see there's a metal fragments there the multiple of them the many you can see it in coronal plane there's another one there and there's three more there it's pretty crazy what uh, is inside the sandbag so uh, I'm glad I did a CT scan because that shows a lot of more than what the x-ray did after the CT I was taking out the sandbag and I was just looking at the scan it was so cool very high tech with a lot of cameras and stuff like that and then I took a look at the, the panel the control panel on the side of the scanner and uh, there was a surveillance camera and uh, my colleague says uh, back just lie on the table and I will show you something cool 
and I was lying there like this and uh, of course holding to the sandbag I was thinking in my mind I hope something like this in the future will be available on MR as well would be cool well that's the end of my video for this time I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new today uh, I'm pleased to share this information with you so you don't get any headaches if you, something like this occur it's pretty crazy what a sandbag can do right so I have an advice for you if you have a new installation of a scanner or new sandbags just do a x-ray or CT scan just to check if there are any metal fragments in there so uh, be sure that you won't get any uh, problems in the future and uh, do not forget to subscribe ring the notification bell and you will get a ding ding whenever I'm posting new stuff so uh, comment and like until next time I see you